what can a mean AI bot do? Yeah, you'd ask about uh, some of the things that could uh, the AI could do. I, I pulled out about three or four of them here that I thought was really interesting. One is that uh, what they're worried about is that uh, AI has got the skill to, or the potential to really deceive humans. It can construct, you know, believable type statement and make pretty accurate predictions about different things. So it can shape people's beliefs. So you can imagine what it could do on a, on a social network and it could do multiple things with that. So uh, the, uh, yeah, you're showing the, uh, the uh, research paper that just fairly recent came out, but it also can exercise some political influences and stuff. Um, not just like on a micro level, but uh, it can use multiple actors to uh, create, you know, like a dialogue going back and forth and, and uh, can create, you know, kind of a social event with that. Um, the thing that's kind of scary is that uh, the models are able to really do, it's been proven, with some of the testing by Microsoft that uh, uh, models can make uh, sequential plans and do advanced plans and create multiple steps. And unlike us, it uh, can, can uh, do things over the long term without getting too anxious about doing it. So uh, it can uh, do model planning in novel settings that uh, don't rely on trial and error. And uh, so it can create all kinds of havoc with that. Um, thing I thought was really interesting is that uh, the uh, model uh, has the potential of actually knowing that it's a model. Um, like self-actualization, like a self-awareness. Yeah. Sky <laughs> I, I know that I'm a model and, you know, I can do things uh, based on that. Like uh, it depends on whether it's in a training phase or a deployment phase or whatever. It can, it can potentially uh, present different faces to the trainers and to the what is deployed and that type of thing. So those are some of the things that uh, they're worried about. Not necessarily if they're happening now, but, uh, you know, it's certainly got the capability to do that, you know, with some, uh, with the wrong programming or with, uh, you know, accidental programming. So. All right. This chapter of uh, Scare You uh, About AI is brought to you by C. Paul Smith Goodson. Yeah. More insight <laughs> yeah. strategy uh, analyst. Yeah. We yeah. appreciate that. No, in, in all seriousness, uh, I mean, historically, we've any great innovation has always had a downside. Yeah. And uh, you've probably all read about the debates between AC and DC electricity mm -hmm. here uh, in the United States and even in the UK, where um, I don't know if this is complete fact but electrocuting people based on a certain type of electricity in the electric chair was used to scare uh, people into doing, uh, into doing something different. So we actually used that type of electricity uh, uh, already. So it didn't actually uh, work, but whether it's cars, uh, whether it's gas, electricity, uh, any type of innovation has downsides and it takes some time to kind of get ready to it. I, I think the only, you know, this is my editorial, uh, but social media is probably the only thing that, I mean, it is so toxic that uh, we don't exactly need to know how it's reprogramming all of us. I mean, there is data. Yeah. It's amazing when you look at uh, anxiety and depression in teenagers. Yeah. And the year that it spikes up is the year that Facebook uh, uh, came out as the only correlation yeah. that, that you can find uh, to 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 even justify that that much of a, a shift but anyways editorial off uh paul thanks for bringing this to us and thanks for uh sharing you can find the uh, white paper in the uh, in the show notes